Hi, I'm Christy. Today I want to talk about six years of growth, discovery, and adventure. As I sat down to write the post this week, I can't, I can't believe that I've been doing this for six years. And while it kind of seems like I've been doing it forever, it also feels like time has flown by. I remember starting this journey having no idea what I was doing or where exactly I wanted to head. I just knew that I wanted to create something that would bring parents and caregivers of individuals with special needs together so that we could support and encourage one another. I've done enough, or I had done enough research to know that I needed to consistently produce content. And I was relieved to discover that a blog post only needed to be about 500 words to be long enough. That didn't seem quite so daunting. Being the perfectionist that I am, I set out to do things as perfectly as I possibly could. And I continued to reach out to online mentors and experts to learn more about how to create and how to create an online community effectively. I quickly discovered that I prefer writing series. It meant having to come up with ideas less frequently while still giving me something to talk about each week. As time progressed and AJ graduated from high school, I realized that I really wanted to focus on what happens after high school. There are a lot of people and blogs that talk about how to help kids with special needs, and that's great. That's incredibly necessary. What I found, what I never found though, was anyone who would talk about what to do with their loved one once they graduate from high school. Since that's where I found myself, I decided that's what I would focus on. So I switched to focus slightly and began blogging about issues that caregivers and parents deal with once their loved one becomes an adult. As I started focusing on issues of adults with special needs, I realized that there are very few voices out there that speak on this area. And I've never shied away from talking about my personal struggles. I'm quite proud of the Paralyzed No More series. I've got a link to that first blog post on the, in that series over on the blog. That's at www.havenofhopeforme.com. This originally posted in May of 2023. I still haven't seen or heard anything comparable. I've run across, or I haven't run across any kind of checklist of services or supports that an adult can qualify for neatly, neatly collected into one location. Now granted, I've added a few things, a few areas recently, like ABLE accounts. I've got a link to that first blog post over on the blog as well. But overall, I think that the original series is reasonably complete and will help guide people through the transition of obtaining supports and services for their new adult loved one with special needs. I've also enjoyed sharing AJ's journey all through this time. He was finishing his junior year of high school, if I calculated things correctly, when I started blogging. He's done quite a bit since then. He graduated, completed a super senior year, completed his job skills program, got his first job, quit his first job, and is now looking for another job. We've walked through all of these steps together through this blog. It's been a journey that I've enjoyed sharing, and I've loved, well, most of the time anyway, this challenge of continually coming up with new ideas or tweaking old ideas for more content to share with you each week. I've also enjoyed learning how to be more comfortable in front of the camera and creating the videos each week. Now, the idea of creating videos scared me to death when a friend first suggested it. Looking back, I'm so glad I did it. As I look ahead to where I want to go, I find myself at a new crossroads. And yet, I'm really excited about what the future holds. With AJ moving out and now being essentially empty nested, I'm looking for new areas to put my focus, attention, and energy. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm still advocating for AJ in any way that he needs me to, and it's still keeping me on my toes. But I also know that even this part is temporary. Within a month or two, most likely, he'll be fully settled into his new life and established in a new job, and he'll need even less from me. Even now, I have most of my days to myself with nothing concrete required of me. This gives me the flexibility to go back into my old routine and begin focusing on things that are important to me, but I haven't had the time or energy to give them. For the past year or two, I felt the pull to change the focus of my time and energy. I've struggled with it and ignored it. I believe that now the time is right for me to make the shift. I haven't talked a lot about it on here, but my faith is incredibly important to me. And I see a great lack within the greater faith community in how we reach out to and help individuals with special needs grow in their own faith. My educational background, raising AJ, 
Seeing what he needs now as an adult with special needs and a calling that is kind of intimidating are all leading me to switch my focus to helping those within my faith to learn how to reach out and include individuals with special needs more fully into our faith community. As I always do, I have rather grandiose dreams and hopes for where this new journey will take me. I have no idea how things will pan out, but I'm beginning to take my first steps along that path and we'll see where it takes me. I'm really excited to see where I am a year from now. So what does that mean for this blog? Well, the short answer is I'm going to put a pause on it indefinitely. Now, part of me is really sad to say that. I've shared a lot on that has been on my heart, many topics more than once. I'm not sure what more I have to say about supporting adults with special needs. I think I've covered at least the highest priority items over the last six years. I'll probably still pop in once in a while to give you an update on AJ or what I'm up to. And I have every intention of leaving this website up. I don't want this information to disappear just because I'm no longer actively blogging. But I'm not sure how to blog consistently on my new focus. If the day comes when I figure that out, maybe I'll start up again. If that's the case, I'll post about it here and give you the opportunity to join me on that new journey. I'm excited about this new path. In some ways, it feels like a continuation of this current journey. In other ways, it seems like a whole new path, but it feels right. And I know I can continue to make a difference in an area where few others are currently speaking up. I'm also a bit sad to be ending this journey. I've enjoyed sharing our ups and downs. I hope that you've enjoyed sharing our journey with us and have benefited from what I've shared. I'll continue to keep an eye on my email, so feel free to email me at Christy, C-H-R-I-S-T-Y, at havenofhopeforme.com. I'd love to hear from you. To share in your ups and downs, to encourage and support you as we all continue on this journey of living with a loved one with special needs. So my question for you this week is this. Have you embarked on a new journey recently? How did it go? I'd love to hear all about it. You can leave me a comment below or you can leave me a comment over on the blog. Again, that's at www.havenofhopeforme.com. This originally posted in May of 2023. If you prefer, you can always email me at christy, C-H-R-I-S-T-Y, at havenofhopeforme.com. I'm grateful for where this journey has taken me over the last six years so that I can continue to say that life is good and there is never a dull moment.